Hello everyone, and welcome to this short video on optimizing trucking routes with Vector Search and Apache Cassandra. So the problem that we have is the typical traveling salesman problem, where we have several cities that we need to visit, and we need to find the most efficient order to do that in. Of course, to add to our problems, we're driving a 30-ton semi-truck, which means that, you know, our turns are kind of limited, we can't do U-turns, we really kind of have to think and plan about how to make the most fuel-efficient path from city to city. To add to this problem, the highway systems surrounding most major metropolitan areas are just a labyrinth of pathways, and sometimes finding the most efficient route can be tricky. Enter Vector Search, a new feature in Apache Cassandra and Datastax AstroDB. With Vector Search, we can work with our data represented in a multi-dimensional space, which will make the distances between our data points more apparent and easier to see. Let's take a look at a potential data model. So we have a table called Location Vectors, and essentially that table consists of a location ID as its lone primary key. There's a location name, which is a text value, and then, of course, we have a location vector, which is a two-dimensional float. The idea here is that we can use a vector search query to go ahead and pull back data based on that vector. Now, to make this happen, we're also going to have to use a custom secondary index. In this case, it's the new storage attached index. Now, when we run that query, we'll do a select and from, but we won't do a where. Instead, we'll have an order by, and we'll use the new ANN of clause, and then provide a vector with a limit to go ahead and pull our data back. And as you can see, this actually brings back our data sorted with how close they are to each of our city vectors. In this way, we can quickly have a look at our data and come up with cities that we know are closest to the cities that we're starting with. This might do a good job of giving us a start on which cities maybe we should visit first. However, this is all kind of predicated on the fact that we can get to our cities as the crow flies. Well, we all know that's not entirely true. So why don't we plot out our cities on a graph? Then let's look at the highways that connect each of the cities. If we take the endpoints of each of those highway segments, we should be able to run a similar ANN cosine-based query to let us know which segments of highway connect each city. So in this case, we'd create a new table called highway vectors with a na highway name as a text field, and then we'd have a four-dimensional float, which would be our highway vector. And of course, we would also create our storage attached index on it as well. Now, if we run our ANN query from a starting city to an ending city, you can see that we actually get highway segments back in that result set. Um, and they're actually ordered in, you know, how close they are to each of the cities. And this is just one way that you could apply vector search to an actual use case, like efficiently planning the routes of your trucks to your stores to get them their products. Don't forget, Check out this and other great videos on our Datastax Developers YouTube channel. And remember, at Datastax Developers, we want you to be successful, and we're here to help you get there.